Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. It's a empty studio Saturday. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is this awesome leather couch. We picked it up uh, secondhand from uh, the classifieds. And uh, two owners ago, this dog had like scratched up the edges uh, really bad. And uh, Michelle did all this restoration stuff on it, and it is good as new. And I'm pretty excited. That's the uh, studio's Christmas present. And uh, we're having a good time with that. So let's take a look around. Oh, wait, I know just the thing I want to show you first. <laughs> Okay, so this is my Orboros army right here, right? Wartborn Skinwalkers, Gnarlhorn Satyr, Stalker, Stalker. Uh, I was using this uh, flutist gal, I can't remember what her name is, as a uh, wilder, but no longer. An Alpha, Kaya, and Laris, and a couple of uh, war wolves. There's actually a third one over in the bin there, along with some shifting stones. And here they are Rackham. Uh, these are out-of-print Celt Fianas, and this is what I'm using as my uh, Druids of Orboros. Just perfect. Here's my new, uh, uh, this is a uh, Druid Overseer, or black-clad Wayfarer, there. And this gal with the totem is uh, my Druid Wilder. So uh, I can't wait to get going with those. Uh, when it's all done, I think it'll be about 80 points. All right, uh, next shot is the ogres. Studio ogres are underway. Let's take a look at them. Uh, we ended up going with this kind of uh, purpley looking skin, uh, which was, uh, after all, after I gave it some thought, my favorite. And the great thing about the studio ogres, uh, by the way, here's just one bin of the prepped models, uh, is that they incorporate the new plastics all over the place with cool uh, different banners and... Uh, heads and weapons and horns and command sections so it's pretty awesome in fact let's go back here take a look here's all the big guys you got two of these larger thunder tusk or stone horn models in fact I think they are both that's right they're both magnetized uh, to be both items and uh, again note that this is only the prep work you got Morn Fang cavalry an iron blaster here and um, you can, if you want, you can pre-purchase this army. I'll give some details in the liner notes. So I'm real excited about that one and to uh, be giving it a test run, hopefully this coming week. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't hold your breath for that. I'd be surprised if two weeks went by and we didn't have it up and running. As a side note, I'm looking for some out-of-print Rackham Scorpions of uh, Durs models. I don't know how you say that, Dyers. Uh, notably a second incarnation Sasia Samaris. So if you have any of those, uh, let me know. I'm ready to trade quite handsomely for them. Uh, here we have some um, mercenaries. These are in process. Uh, yeah, this one's definitely would be worth uh, some HD, but there's, uh, there's as close as we can get it. And these with just uh, some base coats on them. Grey Knight's vehicles in process. Studio Necrons, oh yeah, it's deluxe, and uh, everything else is in those bottom bins. It's, uh, this is going to really be something, and the uh, color, teal. Just a reminder, I have quite a few uh, studio armies for sale, notably the uh, high elves here that you saw in the battle report the other day. I've got that giant 5,000 point Tyranid army, that's on the block. I'm going to be providing some links in the liner notes. And also uh, the Space Wolves uh, second wave. And uh, that one's even better than the first one. Hey, we're also working on a Studio Tau army. Here's the 36 Fire Warriors for that. They're this kind of uh, dusky, bricky red color uh, with pale green highlights and a mustard accent with uh, charcoal undertones. Uh, they're going to be quite battle-worn. That's the theme for that one. And uh, that army's going to be in, on the block and in battle reports pretty soon. And uh, i got to tell you, I'm more than just a little excited about it. I think it's going to turn out really well. All right. 
Yes, you got to look at me for a little while longer. Um, first off, little PSA on things that are needed for Christmas. You should contact me right away because those things will need to be sent out Monday, probably Tuesday tops, uh, to get there in time. Now, uh, what I'm talking about is things that when these projects were set up, it was explicitly understood that that would be the deadline. Uh, last time I gave one of those PSAs, I got a lot of emails saying, hey, can my thing be in time? Can my thing be in time? And uh, when it wasn't necessarily part of the uh, original deadline. Hey, how's it, hey, how's it going? Hello. Okay, here's the next item. I, uh, and evidently I didn't communicate this very well last time. Uh, the studio's getting to the point where I have this just amazing productive capacity. And what I need is I need uh, a few clients who can make notable orders on a regular basis that are um, uh, effectively, in a way, wholesale accounts. Uh, but there's limitations on this. They need to be simple, low-level mass projects. So, in a way, how to explain this? So, I would need somebody who would have, have the ability to, uh, say, in the course of a month, put in an order like uh, they need 150 orc boys, uh, 180 ormigants, and uh, 100 space marine infantry. Uh, really, you know, more or less the same sorts of figures. And what you'd be looking at there is you'd be looking at right around half of the painting cost if you were able to put in orders like that. Now, I don't mind if it's a consortium of people as long as I have a sort of lead group person uh, for it. Uh, and so, and that's what I'm looking for is I'm looking for massed, masses of kind of the same thing. So, uh, for example, uh, a minimum monthly run would probably be uh, 500 infantry or the equivalent of it. And this is an experimental program. I probably only run it for one month just to see how it goes and how I like it. But there can't be a lot of variation in it or a lot of specific instructions. It has to be uh, very generalized. Uh, but I just know somewhere out there, I think for a game shop this might work. Um, you know, I'm really not sure what else, you know, who else might need something like that. Uh, but that, that's item one. And the second thing is, I'm uh, starting today, I'm having a special on Nurgle. All things Nurgle uh, are going to be, um, uh, on special, I guess. Um, so I'll provide a link to, to details on that. Well, uh, I guess that's about it. So um, thanks. Thanks a lot. I, I really, to me, it's always amazing that this has gone so far. What a wonderful thing it was. We did have a Christmas party last night, and it was uh, quite a scene of, uh, of joy and wonderment. And um, I would have taken footage of that for public consumption, uh, but there were a lot of guests here, and uh, I'm reticent uh, typically to put uh, strangers up on YouTube. But not John. Hello. How's it going, buddy? It's great. How are you? Awesome. What are you working on? Tyranids. Epic Tyranids. Little tiny Tyranids. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's great. Cool. Okay, and? There's a lot of them. A what color scheme are you doing? Did it specify, or was it just? It's artistic license. I don't know if this will show up, but it's a brown with a gray. Kind of an orangey and then carapace. A, and then a red to yellow. So okay, great. Battlefield bases. Very nice. Pretty. All right, thanks.